Module 1, Lesson 5 Factoring General Trinomials So, factoring general trinomials, it is written as AX squared plus BX plus C. Trinomials having three terms, we have 1, 2, and 3, composed of three terms. And here is an example of general trinomials. So let us solve general trinomials. Okay, x squared plus 7x plus 10. It is not a perfect square. That's why we will use another technique and that is called the product and the sum or the PS technique. So P. As you can see, x squared, we have here an imaginary 1. So we will just multiply 1 and 10 to get P. So it is 10. 10 times 1 is 10. And for S, we will just use the middle and that is 7. Okay? Now, think of a two numbers that when you multiply, the answer is 10. But when you add, the answer is 7. Okay, paano yun? So first, factor out muna natin si 10. Ano nga mga yung mga factors ni 10? So we will have uh, 10 multiply by 1. The answer is 10. We also have 2 multiply by 5. The answer is 10. Ano pa? Meron pa ba? Parang wala na. Okay, ngayon, i-add naman natin sila. 10 plus 1, tsaka si 2 plus 5. Dapat, ang makuha natin ay 7. 10 plus 1, it is equal to 11. 2 plus 5, the answer is 7. Okay, yun, may nakuha tayo. Therefore, we will use 2 and 5. Because 2 multiplied by 5, the answer is 10. 2 plus 5, the answer is 7. Therefore, our answer will be 2. Ah, mali. Hindi pala 2. Our answer will be x plus 2, x plus 5. Yan siya. So, in checking this, we will use the FOIL method. Okay? So, x multiplied by 5. Ah, no, 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 no. First term pala. x multiplied by x, that is x squared. Next, O, outer. x multiplied by 5. So, that is 5x. Next, inner. Inner natin, 2 multiplied by x, and that is 2x. Then, last term, 2 multiplied by 5, and that is 10. Then, add natin sila. The answer is uh, x squared plus, add natin to, kasi sila yung merong same uh, variables, 7x plus 10. Yan. As you can see, Kapag pinag-multiply natin yung sagot, ang makukuha ay yung tanong. O given na x squared to 7x. Magkaparehas lang sila. Therefore, we can conclude that our answer is correct. Now, x squared plus 6x plus 14. We will have again the PS. So, we have imaginary one here. So, 14 multiplied by 1, the answer is 14, and the middle is 6. Now, think of the two numbers again, that when you multiply, the answer is 14, but when you add, the answer is 6. So, if factor muna natin si 14, so we have 14 multiplied by 1, 7 multiplied by 2. Okay, then i-add natin sila, 14 plus 1 is 13, 7 plus 2 is 9. Oh! Walang 6 at ang lumabas dito. Therefore, it is the so-called prime. Okay, prime siya. Hindi natin siya pa masasolve dito using this PS. Now, however, we can solve this using another technique. But, it will be discussed on the another Next, the given is 6x squared minus 5x minus 6. As you can see here, hindi na imaginary ang kasama ni x squared. 
meron na siyang number 6. Okay? Kapag may ganyang nadagdag, of course, sa step natin, hindi lang siya PS. Bagpos, may nadagdag din. And now, presenting, I make an acronym as PSP, GMA. Okay? Huwag kalilimutan, PSP, GMA. Okay? So, P, alam natin na si P, yan ay product. Okay? So, we will just multiply 6 and 6. A negative 6. So, 6 multiplied by negative 6. The answer is negative 36. Okay? Then, we will just the copy. I will just copy the middle. And that is negative 5. Now, we need to think of a two numbers that when you multiply, the answer is negative 36. But when you add, the answer is 5. Oh, ano yung numbers na yon? What do you think will be the number? Okay, that is negative 9 and positive 4. Negative 9 plus positive 4, the answer is negative 5. Okay, kaya lang may nabago dito. Ang gagawin nyo ngayon, etong dulot-dulo na to, you will just copy. So, copy natin to, saka tong dulo na negative 6. Bago natin ilagay itong nakuha na to. Okay? So, yung nakuha natin, that is negative 9 and positive 4. Then, lagyan natin siya lang ng x. Okay? Next steps natin, parenthesis. Yan ay parenthesis. Lagyan natin ng bakod, baka makawala. O. Oh. Lagyan natin ng bakod. Yan. Tinakuran na natin sila. Okay? So, 6x squared minus 9x. Next step natin, after we make a parenthesis, next natin, we will have the GCF or the greatest common factor. Factor natin si 6x squared minus 9x. Ano yung factor nila? So, that is 3x. Then, si 3x, i-divide natin on both sides. 6 divided by 3, the answer is 2. x squared divided by x, the answer is minus. 9 divided by 3, the answer is 3. Cancel x. Okay? Next. 4 x 4 x 6. Ang GCF nyan ay 2. Okay? Then, 4 divided by... Uh, divide natin sa 2. 4 divided by 2, the answer is 2. Copy x. Minus. 6 divided, divided by 2, the answer is... Yan. Anong napansin? As you can see, parehas na sa loob ng parenthesis. Therefore, the next step is the so-called merge. Wala lang, naisip ko lang siya merge. Pagsamahin lang natin siya as 1. Okay? Just copy 2x minus 3. Then, itong nasa labas, just write 3x plus 2. Okay? Then, this is now the answer. And that is the last step. Answer. Oh, check natin. Baka mali yung sagot natin. Paano? Using FOIL method again. Okay? So, 2x times 3x. And that is 6x squared. Outer. 2x multiplied by 2. That is positive 4x. Then, negative 3 multiplied by positive 3 and that is negative 9x minus. Then, 6x squared minus 5x minus. As you can see here, parehas lang siya ng question. And your answer is correct. Next, we have 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. Again, we will use again the PSP GMA. See, multiply the 2 and the negative 3. We have negative 6. Then the middle is 5. So think of a two numbers that when you multiply, the answer is negative 6. But when you add, the answer is 5. And I think that is 6 and negative 1. So 6 plus negative 1. 
Okay? Now, gagawin ulit si 2 ay ilalagay dito. Si negative 3 ay sa dulo. Then, copy natin itong nakuhang sagot. That is positive 6x and negative 1x. Okay? Then, parenthesis. Ito na tayo sa step na to. Lagyan natin siya ng parenthesis. Yan. Then, GCF. The GCF of 2x squared plus 6x is 2x. Yan. Divide lang natin to 2x. Divide 2x. And the answer is x. Plus 6 divided by 2, 3. Cancel x. So, naman. Negative 1x on negative 3. Ang GCF dyan ay negative 1. Yan. Negative 1. Negative 1 divided by negative 1. Positive 1. Then, just copy x. Negative 3 divided by negative 3. It will become positive 3. As you can see, may parehas na naman sila. Ito, oh, parehas na naman po sila. Then now, the next step is merge natin sila. That is x plus 3. Then copy, neg uh, 2 and negative 1 will become 2x minus 1. Then the answer is x plus 3 and 2x minus 1. Kapag pinoil method natin sila, x times 2x and that is 2x squared outer negative x times negative 1, and that is negative x. Inner, we have positive 6x, then negative 3. Solve 2x squared plus 5x minus 2. As you can see, parehas na naman po sila. Okay, and then our answer is correct. Oh, that's it, class. Thank you for listening. Bye!